Welcome to Poets from the Neighborhood. I am Viraja R. And I'm Kristen Kendall. We hope you'll enjoy the poems we'll be reading today, poems written by your friends and neighbors. Last Year at Rowing River by Louise Calm. These two, one slowed by bitter nature, one who chose to wait, acknowledge mountaintops beyond their reach, so walk the valley, rest often, watch rifles in the stream till eyes track shadows in the depths, reflecting darkness on the mountain rim and walnut shade see lace against the sky, lay bets on which falls first, a leaf or a nut. Do not say this last time, both know. The Beauty of Souls, Dancing at Sagrada Familia. Written by Francesa Kirkpatrick. The beauty of souls dancing at Sagrada Familia. When friends die, it's not just grief that fills our mind. It is the memories that flood back into our lives. We search for scraps of what they once were to us. Our favorite songs, jokes, places come back to tickle our brains. Bubbles of the friends that have passed on float up and pop without warning. Stars twinkle in the night sky while snowflakes melt in hail. Butterflies in the field remind us of the beauty of souls dancing at Sagrada Familia, field of gold covered in flowers sway softly as breeze blows. Dead Letter Office, Spencer Brown by David M. Harris. Dear Spencer, even before I learned that you were dead, I used to miss those horror movie marathons in front of your TV. You filled and passed the pipe we tried to pretend we were still in the cave-like place on George Street, undergrads, comrades in the movement and amusement. I miss the long sessions of games, crazy eights and canasta, your lengthy updates on people at your library I'd never met. Even your condescension bound me there. My mother used to say that everyone needed one friend they didn't like. I lost my ties with all the gang from Rutgers. Lastly, you, and then forgot to miss you. But chains can rust from disuse without breaking. You died before the great migration to Facebook and the cloud. Tony too, but I see BJ and Sid there now floating amid the 21st century links. What had been was enough for you and me. Acid and Woodstock, Knights of the Revolution and Richie Havens. Then our friendship slipped into past tense and then so did you. Cope by S. R. Lee. Well, Hope rhymes with cope, not the word for one's early aspirations or dreams as they might have been. But to cope is good, denoting strength, patience, determination, maybe kindness. Take into account the fortune of health, a functional car, a job, and stresses shift strains, invade the utopia we plan, knock it askew, we patch and do without, and jerry rig, held together some sort of existence, 
try to keep on with responsibilities in so far as but while the word possible shrinks it is the lord star by which we chart a course and hope that we are coping 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 feathers of sunrise by barbara young first light hit the tall trees and began to sing Every photon was the blackbird with its own song, loudly silhouetting the West, spiky as 2,000 bad hair risings. Trees beaded with music, feathered with sunrise, jet noise, onyx, obsidian noise, glorious noise. As the sun rose down the trees, they were dense with music all those minutes. Rising lit the grass and its frost, silent, light, and flown. The next poem, an inaugural uh, 2021 a poem that I wrote titled, The Sun Will Rise, Inaugurating Unity. Wake up, wake up. The birds are chirping, the world is greeting. At the crack of dawn, the sun will rise soon, inaugurating a whole new era. Rise up, rise up, watch the morning orchestra. As the sun beams golden rays, join in the nature's glee. That the breeze is free of malice, world is being transformed. Thank you for watching Poets from the Neighborhood. We hope You'll join us again soon.